you yeah, are welcome back to my youtube channel if this is your first time of watching please do what to subscribe smash the like button and if you are watching this video on facebook please do what to follow our facebook page so on today's video i'm just going to be showing you the different kind of leaves you can use to feed your rabbit without wasting much time let's just start the video the number one leaf on my list here is the corn leaf the corn leaf many of you know this leaf although this leaf has a season that you'll be seeing it you'll be seeing it during the corn season anyone who harvests corn you can just go and pick up the leaf wash it very well then you will eat it before feeding your rabbit they'll eat it and they will grow very well the number two leaf here on my list is the centrosema leaf centrosema leaf this leaf grows like a cover crop it grows like a cover crop it has a bit hair on it you can zoom in so that they see the face of the leaf it has the bit hair on it so if you just see the leaf rabbits eat it very well they love the leaf so much so you can just feed it to them and they'll eat it and they love it and they'll grow well the next leaf on my list is this i don't know the name of this leaf but the rabbit do eat this leaf very well and you can also use this leaf to make hay you can use this leaf to make hay this leaf is just like a it grows it grows like elephant grass this leaf grows like elephant grass so you can use it to feed your rabbit and they will grow very well the next leaf on my list here is the sunflower sunflower leaf this sunflower leaf is a very very good leaf especially for the nursing mothers any rabbit you have that is nursing you can give it this leaf and they'll eat it it helps them to have more milk to breastfeed their kids also even the moringa leaf although i don't have it here you can also give it to your pregnant the, your rabbit that has given birth it also helps to enhance breast milk so that they'll feed the kids and the kids will grow big so use it to feed your rabbit it's called the sun plant this one is not very hard to identify because it has like a yellowish part on top of it the next leaf here is the tree dax tree dax plant this one is called the tree dax plant most of you might know this leaf you can plant this leaf using the using the stem using the stem of the leaf you can plant it so even me i also plant it in my backyard it's good to have some of these leaves around as a rabbit farmer so that maybe anytime you want to feed your rabbit leaf you just go to your backyard and go and cut it and feed to them this one is called the tree dax plant the rabbits also eat it the next leaf on my list here is called the potato leaf this one is the most i think is the most common among rabbit farmers almost all rabbit farmers knows this leaf almost all rabbit farmers know this leaf but uh, this leaf has a bit of disadvantage because most of these uh, insects do lay their eggs on this leaf so before feeding your rabbit with a uh, potato leaf please do well to wash it very well and wilt it because if you even look at this particular one i'm holding here you'll see some few holes in it all these are insect bites sometimes insects come here and pee they come here and they screech and they sometimes they even lay their eggs on this leaf so before feeding your rabbit this leaves make sure you dry it or you wash it very well with salt and wilt it before feeding it and make sure you don't feed your rabbit wet leaves wilt make sure you wilt your leaf when i say wilting i mean drying it under the sun for a bit of time before feeding it to your rabbit the next leaf here is called some people call this leaf a mealy leaf some people call it tiger weed but me i love calling it tiger weed rabbits also eat it and they love it so much you can even see i can even give it to my rabbits here so you see they do eat it very well and they love the leaf as you can see there it's already eating so rabbits do eat the leaf very well so they love it the next leaf on my list here is the plantain leaf plantain leaf is also a very good leaf to feed your rabbit it also helps to like a rabbit that has diarrhea it also helps to reduce the diarrhea like you can use it to uh, to control diarrhea in your rabbit if your rabbit has diarrhea you can give it this leaf and this leaf you can also use it to make you can also use it to make hay for your rabbits when i say you use plantain leaves to make hay, i know some people will be like how how do you use plantain leaf to make hay? i'll show you something like what i mean now Okay, if you look in, into this box now, if you look into this nesting box, I used hay 
to make this nesting box. You can see. This is the plantain leaf. It's a dry plantain leaf. I use it to make nesting box. You can see my kids are inside and they are very, very healthy. That rabbit gave birth to seven. So I use this plantain leaf to make the he for the rabbit. And she pulled her four into the leaf and she littered inside there. So plantain leaf is very, very good. You can also use it to make hay. Just for you to just for you to cut it into little pieces and dry it under the sun. It's very, very good. You can use it to make your hay. Okay. So we are done with the plantain leaf. This other leaf here, I don't know the name of this leaf, but this leaf helps. It, it helps is as a blood control. Like it helps to give the rabbit more blood. It's like a blood tonic to them. It helps to give the rabbit more blood. If the rabbits eat this, they will grow very well. The rabbit loves this leaf. I used to feed it to my rabbits very well. So you can also feed this to your rabbits and they'll eat it and they grow well. So the next leaf on my list is this. I don't know the name of this leaf also, but rabbits do eat it and they love it very well. So this other leaf here is called the Christmas leaf. A Christmas leaf or Christmas plant, whichever way. So rabbits also eat this leaf. And it also increases milk for the nursing mothers. You can also give it to your nursing mothers. It increases milk also. Okay, this is the sunflower. This other one here is the purple leaf. Many of you know these leaves, especially in Nigeria and in Africa. Many of you know these leaves. It's the purple leaf. You can also feed it to your rabbits. It serves as a dewormer. It serves as a dewormer. You can also feed it to your rabbit and your rabbit will eat it and they'll be okay. You can deworm your rabbit maybe up after giving birth or before crossing it. You can deworm them with this leaf. This other leaf here is called the guinea grass. Some people call it the elephant grass, but it's the guinea grass. You can also feed it to your rabbit. This leaf is very, very high in fiber content. You should be giving your rabbit this leaf to avoid bloat and to avoid your rabbit having overgrown teeth. You know, if your rabbit has less fiber in their body, it will be having an overgrown teeth. And you also use this uh, leaf to also control bloat. You also feed it to your rabbit maybe once in a while, so I use it to control bloat. The last leaf on my li list here is the palm leaf. The palm leaf. This one also has a high fiber content in it. It also has a high fiber content in it. You can also use it to control bloat. Also be feeding it to your rabbit once in a while to control bloat. Please, if you find this video helpful, please do what to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Turn on the notification bell. Like, comment, share. And if you are watching this video on Facebook, please do what to follow my Facebook page at African Rabbit Farmers. Do have a nice day.